Hello, 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 my good students. Welcome back to our Sakura Rising campaign with the Pacific mod on War on the Sea, where we shall be creating the Greater East Asian Empire under the flag of Japan. So, uh, with the previous episode, we tried to chase down an invasion task force coming straight over to Saipan. Um, and with that, we did fail, actually, in our objective to destroy the heavy cruisers at least. They are heavily crippled, but we just couldn't quite get the hits on there to fully sink them. So we have uh, Northampton inbound, a New Orleans, both heavily damaged, um, a Crown Colony, I believe, and an Omaha escorting um, a couple Clemson Wixes and some troop transports. So um, there's a bit to deal with there. There's a fair bit for our measly battleship, <laughs> a double heavy cruiser and four destroyer task force to deal with here. We are of course going to try and bring in the remainder of our Shokaka task force, um, or the planes there at least, um, to help deal with that in a surface engagement now. Um, that would be minimum aircraft though, because we have lost a fair few over the course of the last few days, haven't we? Um, so we'll see what we can do about that. We're going to try and force a surface engagement and stop that dead in its tracks here today. Um, otherwise, we will be losing Saipan, or we'll be defending it. So uh, let's go in and see what we can do. So, first things first, we can see one, possibly two um, submarines over here. We did spot this previously. We have finally taken Guam, actually. That's worth checking out um, what our income is now. 72! <laughs> Very nice indeed, if I may say so myself. Um, we are then going to um, get resupplied on day 21. That's likely been out for some time. I've just... Uh, in the action of the previous episode, just didn't see that. <laughs> um, so yeah, big big brain here, big eyes here. Um, that's absolutely fine. We still control uh, Saigon and Haiphong over here, which is absolutely amazing. Um, which means I do want to think about reinforcing those so we can actually make use of them uh, with their airfields, because currently we can't get anything um, because we have no engineering or fuel on there to support that. Um, also think about that, we have very minimal aircraft left on Saipan, so you might want to think about upgrading that or at least reinforcing that so that we can keep bringing out um, any lost aircraft there. Um, however, we are still going to beeline straight over to upgrade truck. That's going to take a couple rounds though. The first um, supply load will not quite give us enough um, uh, engineering and fuel and such to upgrade that. And we do still need to come over with some supplies as well. So that's what the second um, group is going to focus on there. Um, we are, of course, still sending back the Taiyo. I've just this second brought out some Escorsi destroyers for our Shokaku over here, which is left um, currently by itself. So very, very precarious position there. Um, so having said that, let's ruddy bloody go, see what we find. We have sent all of these back home, haven't we? No, the vows have not quite been sent back home just yet. Uh, the Zero should be patrolling round, absolutely brilliant. But it is night time, so I shall see you in the morning. Well, we just cannot get a break, can we? Just outside Pele Lu. Uh, we, of course, not too bothered if we do get invaded there. We will likely to be able, be, be, sorry, be able to uh, defend that off. Um, but look at that as a possible aircraft carrier there. We are going to have to scout that out, unfortunately. Um, so what we're going to do is go in with some Zeros and then some Bessies, I think. Um, go in with the Bessies first, actually. Or actually, should we go in with some Judies? Um, since they can dive down with the heavier bombs that the Bettys do carry. So let's take them, um, just bring them outside a second, wait for the cooldown on there. Because if there is a carry, we'll want some sort of protection there. Paleloo's ready to uh, unload once again. Let's take that. Uh, go in with some zeros, no need to carry anything, we can't anyway. Let's go straight in there. And take our Judies as well. Should be able to get in fairly easily there. Don't know if this is a carrier. They would have sent out aircraft anywhere by now if that was the case. But you never know. You never know. Still fairly early. They might not have spotted us just yet. What do we have? It's not actually a carrier force whatsoever. That is very, very, um, <laughs> it's very, very good for us. Um, we're only going to hit one of these for now. Um, we're going to hit, I think this is an Arthur Middleton over here, we're going to try and hit that with our Judies. So let's uh, just go in there and get, that was the leading ship wasn't it? Absolutely brilliant, so let's go straight in and try and hit that then.
Well, just the one hit there and even losing a Judy. <laughs> Absolutely terrible there. Um, so there's the uh, <laughs> the um, bonuses of being able to dive in. We're going to try and strafe that with the um, zeros over here. Let's bring those down. We can slow down their speed a tad and, of course, bring the altitude down to help with that. The Judys can form up and actually try and strafe what I believe is an oiler over here of some sort. Very minor Dutch oil by the looks of it. Very nice indeed that they've added that in. Let's bring these down then and just reduce our speed to begin with. Uh, where are the zeros? Yeah, absolutely good there. Let's reduce their speed a little more and they can attack from here. Just bring that in. And the Judy's, yeah, looking better. Okay, they should be decent enough to uh, strafe down the oiler there. I'm going to use the uh, heavier armament of the Zeros, of course, to try and take down uh, this particular ship here. If that is an oil, it should be fairly easy to cause a cargo explosion on there with our planes. Not so confident with the Zeros on here, though. And here we go. We can slow down our speed a tad here and tell these to attack. Zeros can form up once again and come in for a second strike. They turn round actually, uh, like this, slow down their speed once again. Uh, it's guessing somewhere, it's guessing somewhere, just take a quick report on that. Heavy to moderate on both, not a bother there at all. Going to come in for a front strafe here then. If we just turn around like that. And of course, slow down our speed here. Zeros, yeah, I think they'll be okay to attack from there, won't they? would be absolutely fine. If we just take control of this a little more manually. Just can't let the fires dissipate to increase our speed a tad. Let's get a bit closer. Let's slow down once again. And we can tell them to attack from here. Alrighty, so after expending all of our ammunition on those planes, we did finally get those. Very painful to watch this. <laughs> but a lovely four command points nonetheless. So that is absolutely brilliant. Let's send those back to Pelelu to uh, rearm and refuel. Absolutely brilliant. Let's try and hunt down this um, force once again then. We could really help ourselves out actually, don't you think, by launching out some sort of um, scousing. Uh, this particular Pete can just do a circular um, scouse ahead. To, we've brought to Cal particularly because it does come with a Jake, um, and that is absolutely brilliant. That could just scouse out in front of us like so. Go ahead like that. Um, can go on a recurring uh, patrol there. We're going to take something from Myoko. Where are we? There we go. That does come with two Jakes as well. Excellent, let's come out in this direction, we're kind of a bit closer to us because that really could be anywhere and I don't really want that to uh, sneak up on our carrier at all, uh, which should not be allowed whatsoever. This one could come up um, a little more northern but just circle round, go a little wider out here and cover where our zeros are not. Can we take anything from Guam? No we can't because we don't have any engineering or such there, so actually it might be a better idea. Oh, I've just got, again, so many options with our supplies. Do we drop off some engineering and fuel here to allow um, our level 3 airfield to function? I think that's probably for the best, really, isn't it? I really think that's probably for the best. Uh, but we're going to carry on and see what we can find in just a second. <sighs> well, the turn of the next day, we're just not allowed to break, are we? <laughs> this is right outside of truck. Um, doesn't look like they're particularly interested in invading Truk, but we have a massive um, invasion fleet here. Um, it really is purely an invasion fleet, only a couple destroy escorts um, around the corners here. Um, we do have what appears to be a Faragus over here as well. Um, that is absolutely fine, doesn't appear to be any light cruisers or anything, so that's brilliant. We brought some Bessies with torpedoes and some Judies with some heavy bombs as well. Um, the easiest ship, I think, for the Bessies would be this particular uh, Harris over here. So let's come down like so um, and decrease our altitude very quickly like so. We can keep a high speed for the moment. Um, and what do we want to bomb with these? I think we go for 
um, this particular ship over here, or do we want to help out the... I think we'll help out the Bessies here, just in case um, nothing comes of that. So let's break an attack from that immediately. And we'll zoom on in with these, I think. So this is going to help us with um, getting our total sinkages up. Um, I'll show you in just a minute that we actually need 300 total enemy ships sunk to actually increase our supply income uh, every week permanently, which is quite the ask, to be honest. It's a massive ask. Uh, but with so many supply ships being sent towards us, it's uh, looking a bit better, isn't it? How's this going to hit? Uh, one decent bomb, one dub bomb, fair enough. Fair enough, no Judy's lost just yet, but you can bet we're going to lose an Emily, uh, Emily, a Bessie. Can't lose Emily's when there's none about, of course, you fool. So that should slow it down a bit to make it an easier target for these uh, Bessies here. Or uh, Emily's, depending on who you ask. <laughs> I'm just going to get a slightly better line on that if possible. Get out to slow down a tad to help us out. There we go, we'll move in. Yep, there's a loss there. I think we'll tell them to attack here. Are they going to be able to turn around in time for that? Should be okay there. They're going to drop. Nope, I think we've fluffed that. Oh, we should have manually told them to drop there. Really should have manually told them to drop. Let's increase our speed then. Turn around. And I think actually we'll just try and preserve these and come out if that's not going to happen. Yeah, let's uh, just come out, retreat. Made a meal of that, haven't we? Made a massive meal of that. Faffing around on the attack angle, should have just dropped. Maybe even use a manual drop there to help us out a bit. I think we'll be fine and we can retreat there. Yeah, that's okay, that's okay. We can come back with those Judies as well. Now the problem here though, is that we've got, yes, uh, <laughs> got some more supply ships here and a possible fighting force over here. So what we're gonna have to do is scout that out in just a second with these uh, planes here. Doesn't look like there's a carrier in range because they would have uh, launched fighters to help out with that. And um, so that's fine. We do have um, some ships outside of Guam here as well. Again, just this, this is the place to be, apparently. <laughs> it's really the place to be. We've seen not a lot of stuff over here at all with um, uh, Formosa and Hong Kong. We are very close to uh, bringing some supplies in there. Um, hmm, having said that, hmm, it is just troops and supplies we have here. I was thinking about just diversing these over to Guam or Saipan, perhaps if we are going to likely come under attack there. I think that's probably the better choice for the minute, seeing how many invasion uh, forces we have over here. It's not likely we're going to be able to keep on top of all of these, so we'll keep those coming over here, I think. Uh, we have resupplied the uh, Tayo and our submarines, and our engineering task force is moving ever forwards to uh, help out over here as well. See if we can uh, scout this out. Ooh, okay, so... Um, may remember that we sighted a North Carolina earlier, and here it is once again. That is rather threatening, actually. Rather, rather threatening indeed. I don't think there's much that our Judy's here will be able to do against that um, at all. So, do we want to try and soften up the New Orleans, or do we want to save it for later? Hmm. I think we'll try and soften up the New Orleans to begin with. Um, and sacrifice our Judy's like that. Let's just go straight in here, like so. And we can turn to break an attack uh, from here. Just a minor tickle here for the enemy. Not expecting loads at all. Maybe even just the one hit, <laughs> if we're lucky with our uh, hit chance recently. But you know what? I'll take it at this point. It is fairly far away. That's going to be the next um, engagement for the Fuso, I think. We've not sighted that uh, Northampton New Orleans task force that we hit previously. Did look like they're going back towards Wake Island and Midway. Um, so let's form up once again, turn these out, and they completely missed. Excellent. <laughs> oh dear, let's just retreat out here before we lose all of the Judies then. And uh, yeah, that'll be that then. Try and go for these two ships here, I think. We'll move um, over here with our fighting force and just try and get that, I think.
Okay guys, so it's been the turn of the next day or so and it appears that North Carolina Task Force has come very, very close to um, Guam and Saipan. Looking for a fight, I think, with our Fuso. Um, it's going to be very, very dangerous if that does happen. Luckily, our Taiyo has come back um, into the fray. Uh, with not quite as many zeros as we'd like, that's absolutely fine. Uh, we do mostly have Kates on there, which is excellent. Going to launch some of those off immediately. And they're going to be launched with some bombs because that's been working out very, very well, of course, for us, hasn't it? <laughs> but um, I don't want to throw those away um, completely just yet. Go over to the Shokaku, which has been reinforced by Hatsuharu and a Shiratsu over here. And uh, we shall have a look at launching some i think we'll go for some more kates with bombs as well over there and i think we'll try and launch some bessies as well um, over here we go back to saipan do have some bessies available uh do we want to try risking some torpedoes that's the question i think we'll give it a go i think we'll give it a go we have been mostly focusing on bombs and that hasn't really worked out too well has it uh where's this with the zeros they've spotted some more cargo ships over here not a problem let's try and go in for this okay so we should all be in a position to find that task force we have spotted it on the map we're a fair decent um a distance away from it and it is that north carolina task force okay cool what do we want to do then do we want to hit that or do we want to try hitting one of the uh, heavy cruisers? I think we should focus everything we have on the North Carolina here so that we can come in for a fairly comfortable engagement um, with our surface group. So, um, our Betty's are the ones with um, torpedoes, aren't they? So let's bring those in immediately. Um, they are a little out of position there, but that's absolutely fine. Bring those full speed for the moment so they can catch up. Go down to 40 meters, of course. Target the North Carolina, thank you. And uh, with the Kate, I think we'll try and go from the front over here. And once again, try and level bomb up the blacks to the ground. And uh, let's see if that actually works this time. We do have a lot here, so there's a lot of opportunities. But as we've seen previously, it doesn't always guarantee um, a large amount of hits, does it? Um, thankfully, though, um, of course, we have been trying to hit cruisers with it, um, these level bombs. But, of course, the battleship just that much bigger should um, prove to be that much more fruitful. Our attacks should be doing okay there. Fingers crossed, you never know, never know. Can only try. Um, a bit of a fool, for you could say, for trying the same tactic. But, you know what? Sometimes it does work. <laughs> um, it's not really good enough, that. But it works enough for me to make it worthwhile. And that's what matters. So let's go in. And we shall see you when we are in range. Okay, so I think we're in a decent position here now while the North Carolina is manoeuvring to send all of our Kates in. The visibility is 45%. They have started opening fire out onto our Bessies, which will need to slow down in just a minute. But I would like them to come in pretty much the same time as the Kates, which are looking like they're going to be able to drop very soon. Um, probably not the uh, altitude we asked for there, which is uh, strange, but okay. Going to have to turn round with these to try and get the flat broadside here. North Carolina does have some fairly decent torpedo protection. But you know what? If they're drawing fire away from our Kates, that is absolutely fine by me because um, it is harder to uh, replenish those than these Bessies, of course. Let's slow down once again so we don't need to faff around with that on the torpedo drop. And I think we can tell them to go in from here. To be honest, that's not looking too bad. And our Kates will be dropping now as well. That is one Betty down there. We'd like to get some sort of torpedo hits in. That'd be lovely. We do have one bomb hit there. No torpedo hits, unfortunately. So, how are these bombs going to look? Misses and duds. Excellent. <laughs> There's one more hit. Um, come on. No. Just misses and duds. Oh, this is terrible. Shameful display. <laughs> Shameful display. Oh, no. That's a couple more hits. That's looking better. You know what? If we didn't miss so many previously, that might be going down after that. But, uh, yeah, that's just not going to be good enough, unfortunately. Is that going to be everyone dropped? It is. Excellent. We lost the Bessies then, but I think... Don't want to push it. 
I think the Kates would be okay to get out of there. Let's take a report. Only moderate damage there. That's rather unfortunate. But it is softened up for another bombing strike later on. So, uh, yeah, could have been better. Could have been better for sure. But you know what? We'll take it. We'll absolutely take it. So, let's return to base, shall we? That's all 12 Kates for the Tayo. Um, and where are we? All 14 from the Shokaku. Lovely stuff. Don't really want to engage that with Fuso just yet. Um, I don't think the Fuso will be able to stand up to the uh, North Carolina so well there. Which is rather unfortunate. So we're going to bring in these subs, of course, a little closer. Yeah, they go exactly the uh, way we want them to, actually. That's brilliant. We'll take them quite a while, though. So let's try and do that again, shall we? Okay, so it should be in a fairly decent position to spot that uh, fleet here. Yep, there we are. So, which Kates are which? These ones are the torpedo-armed planes. Excellent stuff. Uh, that must mean the bombers are just over here on their flank. Ideal. What that means is we can go straight in for them as we are, especially with the bombers. Go straight in like this. Um, just full speed ahead with that. And uh, we could just take them uh, as they are, really. Let's go in, try and line up a bit better, though, before we do go in. And, yeah, like so. And hopefully we can, if we increase their speed, uh, we can try and time that so that they come in roughly the same time as the torpedoing Kates there. Uh, let's bring these in here, like so. And, yeah, this is a two-group, not a problem doesn't make much difference with bombs they hit they hit they miss they miss um, and with these cakes we can bring them in let them dive down a tad come round like this and of course let them dive down I will see you when we are in attacking range okay so I think we are in a decent position to attack now our cakes with bombs should be coming over fairly soon so we're gonna try and come in with our torpedoing cakes right now I think um, they're going to be taking the brunt of the flak though, um, that is, which is opening up right now. Going to tell them to attack from here with this group. This group can do the same as well. We'll wait for these groups to get a bit closer before we tell them to attack, I think. Um, actually, does it look like they're going for the bombers instead? It does indeed. That is excellent. So that means these kates should have a better time, although we are getting the small arms come out now um, for these torpedo planes, which is rather unlucky there. Rather unlucky indeed. But are we going to drop soon with these Kates over here? Just about. It is manoeuvring them, North Carolina. Going to start dropping. There we go. Yep. How are we looking at an angle here? Not too bad at all. Let's bring these Kates in, I think, a tad. Uh, like so. So, oh, right. Let's just pause very quickly because we're going to fluff this up once again. Uh, let's take this group turn in once again over here. Losing a couple planes there, unfortunately. That will do for here. Let's tell this group to attack. And this group can come in as well. Does it like we're dropping a fair amount of torpedoes towards that, though. Not getting any bomb hits just yet, unfortunately. Having said that, there we go. Excellent. Really, really good there. Let's tell this group to attack. We lost the lead plane, so what we'll do is break... Um, and give them both the order to attack there like so. Make sure that's happened to the second player in there. Excellent. Did miss with the first group of torpedoes though. Oh no! Might be in the second to a group as well there, which is very unfortunate. Oh dearie dear, only getting bomb hits there and one dud as well with that. Would love some more torpedoes to come in there. We're dropping with this group. No, that's the bombs. No worries. So we have dropped all of our torpedoes there. Going to be very close with the ones we're told to break off there. Very disappointed by a torpedo attack there. Very, very disappointed, especially since we didn't lose many on the approach. And we have dropped all of our bombs. So that was a terrible attack once again. Heavy to moderate damage, but just not quite enough. If those torpedoes hit... No. <laughs> oh, no. That did manoeuvre very, very well, though. That did manoeuvre very, very well for us. Um, look at all of these misses. Look at all of them. Probably should have come from the rear-ish um, for the torpedoes, but not to worry there. We do see some fires coming out. We'll see how well those develop, but I wouldn't hold my breath.
Okay, so it's the turn of the next day and I think we've been very, very lucky. We did try and push forward with our Fuso over here, um, but the, it looks like the North Carolina, according to its scout's path, was going north of Saipan and actually leaving that alone. So we can probably expect that to go back to the dockyard. We'll see. It did come out as moderate damage in the end. Um, those fires did not really develop at all, which is unfortunate for us. Um, but you know what? It's also a good thing that we didn't have to take that to a surface engagement, which I think we would have lost, if I'm being perfectly honest. Um, so, what do we want to do with our um, Shokaka here? It doesn't have the greatest amount of vowels left. I'd like to have some more Kates as well. Having said that, I think... Um, hmm... Might try and send that over to Kure while we have the engineering supplies there to actually help that out. Um, I think that's what we're going to do. Actually, we're going to have to say goodbye to that at the moment. Although, having said that, the, uh, the tire is not great on Kate's either, <laughs> once again. Um, hmm. Then again, we are about to give Guam some supplies, so I think we can. that will be a trade off there. We'll send the Shokaka back to uh, restock its air group. But um, the trade off will be that we get some uh, airfield based planes fairly soon so let's send that back to restock incidentally we do have 118 command points um what i want to do with that is um i think get another carrier out and what i want to do is start building up the kido patai midway carrier group so we're going to start with either an akagi or a kaga to uh, bring out there just need a couple more command points for that i believe i think they cost um 120 let's double check that in case we are missing out there let's go to uh, cv we've just gone past it there we go and yes 110 actually so we can do that now um is there any difference between akagi and kaga uh, let's see, Kaga has a few more vowels, so that's the better choice. Is that more expensive because of it? No, it's not absolutely brilliant. Let's go for that straight away then. Uh, if we just press new C once again, that may help. Let's go. Brilliant. Thought that was 120 command points, but nope. Lovely stuff. Let's bring that all the way down to help out our Taiyo then, shall we? Excellent stuff. And I just pray it doesn't get intercepted on the way down. Um, speaking of interception, we can see some supply ships over here. Just a group of two. Tried moving forwards with our supply interceptors, but we missed them. So we're going to try and get them now. Let's carry on. Well, um, do you remember, obviously not too long ago, we've been struggling with a North Carolina group? Well, uh, guess what? They sent out another North Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> this is just south of Truk. It looks like it is um, moving away from us, which is absolutely very, very good, much good news for us. Um, very similar composition here. Brooklyn, a North Carolina, a um, Pensacola, and a few uh, destroyers here. So once again, I want to say not the biggest of threats, but um, we have, of course, uh, been struggling recently. We've got another what appears to be a possibly a carrier force over here. Let's see if we have any spare zeros to scout lass out. Let's have a quick look at that, shall we? Let's go in and see that. Mm, where are they? There we go. It's not a carrier group. It is just a couple um, transport ships over here. So really, I think we should try and hit those, to be honest. Um, let's have a look see what we have over a truck do have some Bessies and Judy's again I think really we should probably recall our zeros to try and strafe that I think would be a better idea there um, could try and go in with the Bessies to torpedo us actually uh, let's try that well um, we have no sight on that particular group we've just seen with the supplies however we have come into contact with the um, North Carolina group once again. So what we're going to do is try and quickly come down for a hit and run with uh, some Bessie torpedoes. Uh, we'll see how well that goes. I'm sure we'll lose um, most of our group over here. Slow down time here and I think we'll slow down just a tad. I'm not entirely sure what the max speed is for uh, dropping torpedoes but I'm sure 180 knots from my own testing should be fine there but the Pensacola here is absolutely trying to evade that so we'll see how well that goes are we going to drop with everyone there we go excellent let's just increase speed guess out and turn to their flank we've just lost two doesn't matter <laughs> But so we have dropped with all of our torpedoes. It won't be a sinkage even if they do all hit. 
but I'm hoping for two hits here. It's looking good for that. There's one. Not quite on the middle. We get... Nope, just sailing past the bow there. There was actually a dud torpedo in the middle there. We're getting really bad luck with duds, sir. Uh, the last few days, aren't we? Look at that. That's not going to develop at all. Well, where are we? Yeah, minor to minor. See about that. We'll see about that. I think one more engagement for today, guys, and that really will be all I have time for, I'm afraid to say. But cargo has come out, and uh, we're going to attach that to the Taiyo. We have uh, re um, stopped the Shokaku, so that should be coming out once again there. And that's going to be brilliant for us. Two full fleet carriers out here. Americans are going to be wondering about that. Let's get to the invasion supplies. We might just, no, we're not quite in range there to uh, get onto Saipan to reinforce that. Um, we're going to get over to Truk as well. That's going to be ve fairly spicy actually with that North Carolina group about. Let's just move over here to the north, see if we can dodge that. Okay, so we have in fact dodged the North Carolina group. We've just seen it actually come towards really our submarines. We'll see what we can do about that. Let's launch a um, radial scout with a Jake there. Um, it is uh, a nighttime hour, should have looked at that, but it's absolutely fine. Let's go in and drop these supplies off at Truk. Uh, if we unload all cargo here. And where are we? That's going to be much, much better. So it will take one more, um, maybe just a bit more actually than that. So depending on what we can do with our fuel um, to upgrade that. I will be looking actually though at restocking Saipan because we have used a lot of fuel and engineering there, unfortunately, um, over the last few days. Let's just bring Kaga over with this group here. Let's merge groups. And we can start calling that Kido Batai very soon. Um, let's see with this group then we do want to of course uh, retreat out over here this is the thing now we need to spread our supplies so that we can start using Guam and we need to upgrade truck we need to uh, resupply Saipan as well so I think really want to look at getting um, some fuel and engineering on Guam first because a level 3 airfield with the availability of planes there would be absolutely amazing for us um, so I think that's probably what we're going to do next, unless we do want to, uh, because we have two carriers out, we will do. Uh, I'll see about that, see what our situation is like when we get closer to that, I think. Okay guys, so um, it's been a fair few hours, even a few days since I last saw you properly and uh, it's been fairly quiet by um, recent standards. Um, however, this has managed to sneak up on us, rather rude of it. Um, luckily we do have three operational carriers here. Of course the Tayo, not the greatest amount of planes, so actually what we're going to launch from that, I think, um, are Zeros. And that's with the idea of actually uh, strafing down perhaps some destroyers. Um, then with that so they can support um, our cakes and such further from there. Um, what do we actually want to hit here? We don't know exactly what's here. We're going to suppose it is a North Carolina group. So we're going to go hard once again with torpedo cakes. I really hope uh, that goes. We've got 24 torpedo cakes there. And we're going to go back to the Shokaku and launch... <laughs> <laughs> 18, um, hmm, do you want to go with torpedo cates, bomb cates, or do you want to go with vowels? That's the question. Um, think I'm going to go with vowels here, and they can go for perhaps a heavy cruiser um, rather than a battleship. So let's hope that works out fine. Let's move in. Yeah, we're just positioning this. Uh, actually, that should be fine if we come up to their flank a tad. I think that should be roughly in a good position there. Let's just bring things a tad closer. Don't need to be right on top of them, as we have previously learned, of course. Uh, if we come over here a tad, we go with the zeros as well, a bit closer, like so. 
and that should be okay. Let's go in. Where the hell are they? There we go, right on top of them. Uh, there we go, we can see them just there, looks like. Ooh, okay, okay. Hmm. British Grenadiers, start playing, please. <laughs> We've got a Pensacola escorting to the rear, and we have another one to the front. Actually, that's a Northampton, I do apologise. Um, oh. Oh, do we want to do a Fuso versus War Spite uh, later on? Do you want to try Fuso versus War Spite? I think we should give that a go. So what we're actually going to go for is the Pensacola to begin with, and of course the Northampton. Um, that's going to be particularly difficult though, because we will have to manoeuvre our planes around the AA um, as much as possible there. Uh, we might not get a lot of use out of the zeros. Actually, what we could do with them is try and use them to strafe the destroyer, perhaps, um, to take away some of the AA fire while we are bringing in the Kates and such. Um, the Kates them themselves, then, can actually go for the Pensacola at the rear. Um, this is going to take quite some time to set up, so I'll be back in just a second. Okay, so we've set up our attack, and the idea, actually, I did change my mind a tad. We're going to split our cates and vows, so we get a few cates on one heavy cruiser, along with some vows, and the rest of the cates and vows will go for the forward heavy cruiser here. Our zeros are going to form up into one massive group and go for the porter here as well. So we've told our vows to go straight in, since uh, there's no point in waiting around with their positioning. Uh, the cates are going to speed up to get over to uh, the... Um, heavy cruisers to get into a position there. The idea here is to slow down the heavy cruisers so it's easier for a torpedo hit um, in the ne very, very near future. This Val uh, not doing anything. Let's tell that to attack. Uh, that's going to be rather out of position now, so that's unfortunate. But uh, there you go. <laughs> um, We're going to tell our zeros to move up very quickly here because they do want to try and get into position with our Kates in just a second. How uh, yet yeah, we are going to certainly lose some vowels going towards the uh, Northampton at the front there. That's uh, absolutely expected, but not to worry too much. Like I said, we do have Kaga and Shokaku about, so that's uh, absolutely fine. Let's uh, reduce our speed with these zeros a tad, and we can tell them to start attacking from here. How are we doing over on this uh, Pepsi Cola, though, is the question. It's another vow down, unfortunately. No hits so far. Look at that. Our vows doing absolutely terribly in recent days, aren't they? Really, really terribly. So we can only hope that our um, Kate torpedo strikes do that much better. Are we getting in position to attack the uh, Northampton now? Losing a fair few vows. Come on. Come on. You can do that. Let's try and hit it midships around the funnels would be great, but we are getting more misses. Oh dear. Not great at all. Not great at all. But we need to uh, try and remember about our Kates, of course. So what we're going to do is slow down their speed a tad and attack from here with these groups now, I think. We forgot for some reason to take down the altitude of these Kates. That's going to be a bit of a hindrance there. We've done the same here. No, we haven't. Excellent. Let's tell these to go in and attack from here then. Uh, these Kates are going for the New Orleans, but it doesn't look like we have actually targets, is it? Was it number two? No, it was number six. Let's go over target that. Did I call that New Orleans? I did mean, of course, Northampton. Yeah, we're looking like we're in a decent position so far over there. Might bring these out a tad wider because it is positioning round to give us a horrible angle of attack there. Uh, once again, just so, so many planes to uh, take command of here. It's a tad difficult. Tad, tad difficult there. Just watch these uh, that need to go in. We're making very nice work of that destroyer down here. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, looks like their guns are offline there. That is amazing. Let's form up with the zeros, bring them out to them lost another vowel on approach there let's just pause very quickly bring them out double check we're okay with the new orleans approach and new orleans i keep saying that uh, northampton approach here might miss with a couple of these due to the um angle we're coming from there we're gonna have to go down with these cakes a little quicker and just turn out a bit unfortunately but because of that we can come from a flatter broadside there slow down so we can get the turn 
fairly well there. I'm going to have to position for that Northampton a bit better. And what we can do is tell them to attack from here. Hopefully, no, actually tell you what we'll do with this lot is uh, we'll take command and actually do the all drop uh, button in just a second if we can actually get on target with that. Let's all drop here. It's looking good. Hopefully we'll get a decent uh, altitude to do that. We've lost a cape which crashed into there which will help. Uh, yeah, that is a very nice torpedo hit uh, chance there. But we need to of course remember about this uh, leading cruiser which is... Uh, Making a meal out of our attack here. It's going to be very difficult uh, with this group, actually. Um, we need to slow down, of course, but we do need to, of course, turn out as well and target this properly. This is going to be rather, rather tricky here, actually, getting this after it's turned. So hopefully that Pensacola's going down. If it's starting to look too tricky, we might just uh, disengage with these Kates. Don't want to lose too many of them. Let's take a quick report on this ship. Uh, critical and critical is amazing. Excellent. Critical and heavy on the Portland as well. We're going to have to start slowing down fairly soon though for this. So let's uh, do that now so that we don't forget. Yep, number seven sinking. Absolutely brilliant there. Uh, let's slow down. Yeah, we slowed down with everyone. Let's tell everyone to attack then. Let's go straight in. We don't have a target. That's very interesting. Let's do that. And I think we'll tell these Kates to turn in just a little bit more for us there. Actually, they can attack from here. We'll tell these Kates to turn in uh, so we get a flatter broadside for them. And then we're guessing okay over there, aren't we? Just going to manually uh, control these kates. Going to speed up a tad. We are getting some torpedoes dropped on that, but the lead is absolutely massive. I'm not too hopeful on that. So I think we're going to try for another mangle drop here, actually. If we just slow down and get that off properly. Yeah, because the lead you can see there in front of us is just far too much. I don't think we're going to hit with those, unfortunately. Which is a shame. I think we can drop from about here though. There's one torpedo hit. That's not looking too bad with our manual actually. Not looking bad at all. Might get one or two on the back there. Excellent. Uh, is that? Yep, absolutely. That should be a downed heavy cruiser. And that's going to be very much open for a decisive surface engagement there. You know what? if it speeds up a tad it will be looking to evade the torpedoes there but uh, yeah I think, well, I think we're pushing it there to get any uh, collateral damage on the Queen Elizabeth or War Spite of course there um, is it just the one? Is it actually the War Spite they get? So let's double check that shall we? Go to Battleship, King George must be SBB then we're now, no where would it be? Be over here then go to all where are we? Queen Elizabeth. Do have all five. Excellent. Look at that. Look at that. So we did lose a lot of strike aircraft there. A lot of strike aircraft was downed. Um, doesn't look like uh, this. Uh, I could be going down. Let's take a report. Critical to critical. Just need to wait around there. Let's keep a Kate out here. Needs to actually get out of there very quickly. Should we do that? And what that can do is actually keep sight over here as well. Well, look at the gall of that cruiser. We wasted around for quite some ruddy bloody time there. And even though the destroyer got scuttled, the cruiser just didn't. But that's absolutely fine. Um, it is on massive damage. We'll only take a sneeze, surely, from our um, Fuso's guns to destroy that. Um, but to that, I'm afraid, we'll have to wait until the next video, guys. Let's just send our groups back over here to our carriers. And unfortunately, that is going to be it for today. Let's start moving this into a position to fight that then. And yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope uh, you've enjoyed the video. Um, very, very, uh, very enjoyable one. Uh, it's been uh, difficult though to uh, get anything really, hasn't it? Very lucky we got that uh, kill in the end there. But uh, worth the waste, I think. So uh, thank you very much for watching once again. Leave your feedback in the comments section below. Always love reading that. And uh, I shall see you in the future. I've been the Edified Gamer. And I hope all of your nights and days are auspicious.
goodbye.